I didn't do my research and I voted with my feelings. So in the next election, I voted for Kerry. I voted Democrat. And then I voted Democrat again for both terms of Obama. When Saturday Night Live came on and Alec Baldwin would make fun of Trump, I laughed. And then finally in 2016, I voted for Hillary. When she lost, I cried. Telling you this feels like coming out of the closet all over again. And it makes me sick to my stomach to admit my troubled past. But then I changed. I changed six years ago, in 2018. I remember the day it happened. The day the fog lifted. The day I woke up. Hello, my name is Samuel, and this is my walkaway story. A disclaimer, I'm not an investigative journalist. I'm not an activist. I'm just a dude, and my story is based on my real-life experience and memories from growing up. I grew up in a small town in Florida called Niceville, and yes, in the end it turned out to be pretty nice. It was in the 80s, and the area I lived in had a large religious, conservative, and military population. So naturally, at the tender age of nine, when I started to realize I was gay after watching Banana Rama's Venus music video on MTV, back when MTV actually played music, I was petrified. I kept hearing stories about how God hated gay people. I heard I would get beat up or possibly even killed if I came out of the closet. And sadly, believe my own parents would disown me if they found out. <laughs> All my fears were instilled by what I saw on TV, the movies, the magazines, essentially Hollywood and the media. It wouldn't be until much later in my life when I would realize that there was a sinister political movement behind all this fear and that it was coming from the left. My parents considered themselves independents and when I was old enough to vote, I followed in their footsteps and registered as NPA, no party affiliation. My parents always taught me to vote for who I thought would do the best job as our president. And they told me that for them, this meant they sometimes voted for a Republican, and they sometimes voted for a Democrat, whoever could best do the job. I had just turned 19 when I voted in the general election for the first time. I was still living with my parents and still in the closet, attending a small community college. I hadn't even met another gay person, and I was brand new to politics. I voted for George W. Bush because that's who my parents voted for. But when I moved off to a larger college, I met other gay people for the first time, and they told me, you've got to start voting Democrat. They told me Republicans hated gays, and Democrats were far better for gay rights. I trusted these people. After all, they were my people. I didn't do my research, and I voted with my feelings. So in the next election, I voted for Kerry. I voted Democrat. And then I voted Democrat again for both terms of Obama. When Saturday Night Live came on and Alec Baldwin would make fun of Trump, I laughed. And then finally in 2016, I voted for Hillary. When she lost, I cried. Telling you this feels like coming out of the closet all over again. And it makes me sick to my stomach to admit my troubled past. But then I changed. I changed six years ago, in 2018. I remember the day it happened, the day the fog lifted, the day I woke up. I was 38 years old and at my job, having a casual conversation around the water cooler with a couple of my straight coworker friends. Straight coworker friends whose family had legally immigrated to Florida from El Salvador and Cuba. Things got political and I told them I intended to vote Democrat again in the next election. They told me they would be voting for Trump again in 2020. I asked them why they were choosing Trump. And they told me about socialism and how socialism was connected to communism and how these philosophies were connected to the Democrat Party. So I started doing my homework. I started researching. I started watching conservative media outlets and listening to conservative radio shows and podcasts. One famous radio personality even taught me we're not a democracy. Indeed, we are a constitutional republic. So then I started voting with 
facts, not feelings. I started voting as an informed citizen. I started voting out of respect for our beautiful country, our economy, our military, our safety and security, our prosperity, and not out of my own self-interest. This was no longer about being gay or what was best for gay people. Then I started to read books. I even started reading the Bible. Through all my research, I found out a lot about both sides of the left's liberals and the right's conservatives. I found out liberals tend to be associated with Marxism and pagan values, while conservatives tend to be associated with capitalism and Christian values. I realized then that I was a conservative because I believe capitalism is best for our country's economy, and I believe Christianity is best for keeping our humanity. As I get to know conservatives better, I found out that they were a peaceful and loving group of people, and despite my fears, they accepted me and other gay people. And in fact, I've observed lately that some of the unhappiest, angriest, most violent people I've ever seen have come from the left. Don't believe me? Read up on the 2020 George Floyd riots, where 19 people were killed in the name of social justice. If that's not enough evil for you, look at their stance on abortion. Why is the left so comfortable with killing babies? What they call a clump of cells, we call human life. And do you want to know what else I found out? I found out that the liberal Democrats were, in fact, using my people as political pawns. I also found out that they did the same thing for countless other minority groups. Black people, for example. They've done this all along. They manipulate special interest groups and play identity politics to gain power. Conservative Republicans aren't perfect. But the modern left in 2024? They lie, they deflect, and they obfuscate. They play dirty. And yes, they even cheat. Finally, they never let a good crisis go to waste. Which brings up the next election. In 2020, during the COVID pandemic, I knew I had to do what was best for my country. I voted for Trump in 2020. And when Joe Biden and Kamala Harris were installed, I cried. I hope anyone watching this realizes that November's election will decide the fate of our republic. It is literally a battle between good, decent people who just want to preserve the Constitution along with the American way of life. And on the other hand, evildoers who want to dismantle our country and turn it into something out of George Orwell's 1984. Now, I said some negative things about the Democrat Party, things you probably didn't want to hear. But as they say, the truth can hurt. If you're watching this and you don't believe me, see for yourself. Do your own independent research from multiple sources. If you only watch the mainstream news outlets, consider digging a little deeper. If anything, find a conservative and strike up a conversation. In my experience, we probably won't bite. My parents certainly didn't when I told them I was gay. They showed me nothing but love and compassion. And they are now hardcore conservatives. So that's my story. With a little help from heroes like Brandon Straka, and the Walk Away Project, hopefully this video will reach enough people to make a difference this November. Thank you, and may God bless America. For more great videos, download the Walk Away Social app at walkawaysocial.com. Share your testimonial and join our community.